Each year, scientists, researchers, and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. One thousand microbe species have just been discovered in Tibetan glaciers. The Tibetan glaciers have long been considered extreme, to say the least. The Tibetan plateau is characterized by freezing temperatures, solar radiation, and limited food. This hardly makes it sound like a comfortable place to spend time at. Despite these conditions, scientists have discovered 968 species of microbes. The discovery was aided by the Glacier Ecosystem's first dedicated genome catalogue. According to the research study team, glacier surfaces often contain diverse life, including bacteria, algae, fungi, archaea, and microeukaryotes, as microorganisms are able to adapt to extreme conditions. Glacial microbiomes often provide a timeline of microbial life on Earth as ancient microorganisms have been revived. Researchers wanted to study the Tibetan Plateau, not in spite of its conditions, but because of them. The region has also been greatly affected by climate change, with more than 80% of its glaciers affected. The researchers stated that the findings were particularly timely as the glacier ecosystem is threatened by global warming and glaciers are retreating at an unprecedented rate. For this reason, time is of the essence when studying the microbes in the area, as proof of their existence may soon be eliminated by climate change. At times, extreme efforts need to be made in hostile environments in the search for answers. In this case, the level of effort the researchers put into studying these microorganisms is extraordinary, and it paid off. 82% of the genomes found were novel species. The researchers have begun calling the project the Tibetan Glacier Genome and Gene Catalog. According to the team, the TG2G Catalog offers a database and a platform for archiving analysis and comparison of glacier microbiomes at the genome and gene levels. Scientists discover an ancient reservoir of water under the Antarctic ice. Antarctica is a place where, as we are becoming increasingly more equipped to tackle its tough conditions and increasingly better at remote research, we are rapidly finding out more and more about. Now, a huge reservoir seems to have been mapped out for the first time underneath the Antarctic ice sheet. The team believe that the reservoir is more than a kilometer deep and has the incredible potential to impact how the Antarctic ice sheet will react to and withhold against climate change, including how it will affect the sea level. Mapping this is the first time we have gained evidence of the reservoir, although scientists have long suspected that it has been there. Until now, no one had been able to verify whether these hunches were accurate. This discovery employed a geophysical survey to use magnetotelerix imaging to record and discover the subglacial water beneath an ice stream. These ice streams, or subglacial hydraulic systems, are essentially networks of plumbing that can be found underneath glaciers. These are incredibly important features of Antarctica, funneling 90% of the interior ice out to the margins. Chloe Gustafsson, a postdoctoral researcher at UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography explained that the ice streams act as a lubricant where the ice shelf meets the bedrock. This has the potential to impact the movement of ice and sediment deformation, two processes that are vital to how frozen climates and land can worsen the rising sea levels. This study was the first to ever make an observation of a sub-ice groundwater system. An achievement made possible thanks to the empty imaging that revealed a mix of fossil seawater and freshwater lurking beneath the ice sheet. This technique, and the confirmation that this reservoir is indeed there, is truly monumental and an incredibly significant discovery that will help to push forth our knowledge of both Antarctica and of how we can expect patterns to change regarding rising sea levels. Ball-shaped mass found 3,200 miles beneath the surface of the Earth. Deep beneath the Earth lies our planet's inner core. This ball-shaped iron mass is the reason for our magnetic field. Back in the 1950s, it was believed the inner core was solid, 
but now it has been proven that it is in fact composed of various materials, molten metal liquids, soft structures and harsh objects form the core, as discovered by geophysicist Rhett Butler. Clearly, no human nor machine has ever seen the core. The heat and depth make it unavailable to study up close. As a result, we have only ever been able to make educated assumptions regarding its components. Butler and his co-author, Seiji Subo, used earthquake waves to research the core. Butler explains, illuminated by earthquakes in the crust and upper mantle and observed by seismic observatories at Earth's surface, seismology offers the only direct way to investigate the inner core and its processes. Seismic waves move the Earth's layers and thus studying their movements helps us determine the densities, temperatures and minerals within the particular layers. By using the results taken from two different sides of an earthquake, Suboy and Butler gathered enough data to place into Japan's Earth supercomputer generator and evaluated their findings. Their research suggested that, unlike the 1950s and 1970s theories that the inner core was made of soft iron alloys, it is actually composed of various hard, liquid and soft regions together in a mixture held together by pressure. In Butler's words, this puts new constraints upon the composition, thermal history and evolution of Earth. This changes how the magnetic field may be studied in the future. Knowledge of this boundary condition from seismology may enable better, predictive models of the geomagnetic field which shields and protects life on our planet. Our future is shaping up to be something extraordinary. Who knows what awaits us in the years to come? Will space travel be a common occurrence? Will we understand how our own Earth works with new insight? Will more historical secrets be unraveled? Time can only tell, but for now, we can marvel at these amazing findings. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.